and see the hole in the rock. Looks like there's a, a hard way and an easy way to get up there. We're going to take the easy way. Our family's next stop was in the Desert Wolf ATV Tours in Scottsdale, Arizona. Here we're at the Roadrunner Saloon where we grabbed a burger and a burrito about an hour before the tour started. Well, here we are in the Arizona desert. This ain't our age. Boys need to pull a bunch of player power guns. I shot a man in freedom just to watch him die. This is the Tom car that's used by uh, Desert Wolf Tours. Uh, that will be taken across the desert. It's a uh, commercial off-road utility vehicle that's used by Israeli military to patrol its borders, and it's also used by U.S. Customs uh, Border Patrol. It's got a 750cc uh, Kohler engine in it, and uh, I think it's like 15-inch ground clearance, uh, tubular A-arms, you know, heavy-duty shocks. Uh, they even armor plate these things. Really cool. Yeah, these things are overbuilt, if anything. Um, luckily, we got a four-seater. They make a two-seater, and uh, they make a four-seater. And uh, we were lucky enough to have a four-seater, because uh, there's three of us. Yeah. You're looking to park, man. This cacti right here is called. Now this is the teddy bear choya or the jumping choya. Uh, a lot of people call it the jumping choya because it doesn't take much. And these bolts fall off and grab onto you. <laughs> and they hang on. So it doesn't take much. Uh, each end of it, or each end of the needle, they're all barbed.
So once they grab onto you, they hang on pretty tight. Uh, so these guys can mess you up pretty good out here in the wow. desert. So when we're out here, make sure you're never walking backwards. Uh, always watch where you're walking because everything in the desert wants to stick you, bite you, poke you, everything. So watch out for these guys. They can also benefit you though in a survival situation. Uh, so with these, they're, uh, it's like a paper-like substance kind of on the outside of each needle, which makes them extremely flammable. So we will test it with the, uh, with the rain today. And even though it's been sitting out here in the rain, it's still burning. Uh, so what you want to do, you want to burn off all the needles. You want to make sure you get them all off, because if you leave one, that's the one that's going to burn you, or uh, poke you. Uh, so you want to burn off all the needles. And on a dry day, these things are flaming like this big. But even on a wet day like this, for it to burn like that, it's pretty good. So. Uh, what you want to do with these guys is cut them kind of like an avocado. Just slice them right open, find a little cutting board. You can slice it right open. You can see all that moisture that's inside there. Uh, these things taste these things taste kind of like a cucumber or a, some people say like a kiwi. Uh, so if you guys want to taste it, Fine desert dining. They're kind of slimy. Everybody want to try a piece? Yeah. Perfect. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Um, and when you're out in the desert, it's hard to get liquid. So what you can do is take a couple of these, burn off all the needles. Put them in something like that neck puff we gave you, hit them, smash them with a rock, and then you can wring out that water content. And you have a little cactus cocktail to go with your meal. Um, so this is a way to get food and water out here in the desert, are these Troya. And then we're going to get through water and it's going to be dead. Think so? We're going to go through water. I don't know, Mom said so. I cannot believe I forgot my other batteries. The steer itself. <laughs> my rear axle, man. It's a locking differential. This is all that makes the difference. There's a good place for a rock if you're looking for one. in the 1940s for ranchers. Uh, it sucks water up from the underground aquifer and puts it into this folding barrel, which Goldfish. is an old aircraft engine uh, container. And then it pumps it into this little trough here as it as it drops. Uh, there's even some goldfish in there, people have put in there. <laughs> uh, so a lot of the animals, a lot of the wildlife out here will come here at least once a day, typically at night to get water. Uh, we have mule deer, we have white-tailed, uh, white-tailed food deer. We have mountain lions, coyotes, uh, javelina, which are a type of pig, uh, wild... <laughs>
There he comes, there he comes. Got it, got it. Give it gas, give it gas. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's because it wasn't girl drive, Mark. The girl drive. Oh my goodness. What does that mean? We're being, we're being sexist. I didn't, I didn't think you could get one of these stuff. Mama's being sexist to her own kind. Well, first of all, she's trying to drive up the <laughs> mountain over there. <laughs> she's not even pointing this direction. Look at the guy driving. It's like 50 degrees outside. Poor guy. I mean, these things are hard to get stopped. Like you would like have to have to try to get it stopped. She made it. Woo. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Um, let me know if you guys like this kind of uh, adventure videos or if, how I can make them better. Um, I, most of you are probably here for my box camper van videos. I uh, just wanted to share this kind of stuff with you also, and uh, wanted to know if it was interesting enough. Thanks.